Hey, Josh, uh, after uh, getting a chance to take a look at the film, um, when you look at the offensive line, 159 yards rushing, um, there were the five sacks. Uh, what were your thoughts about the offensive line and specifically also uh, Alex Leatherwood over at right tackle? Um, you know, I think we did, I did, we did, we did some decent things. We played hard, um, you know, in the running game, we were able to create some opportunities for the backs to get started. Um, you know, and then we probably missed some opportunities as well, uh, just relative to a few things, communication, um, double teams, uh, you know, there's a few techniques that <clears throat> Jacksonville uses that, you know, we haven't quite seen yet. So, um, you know, this is always going to happen in the preseason when you don't practice for three days leading up to the opponent. And so that was a good thing for us to be able to see, you know, somebody else plays a different technique on the line and now it, it creates another uh, type of communication and an adjustment. So uh, we're, we'll be able to coach off of that today, which will be good specifically to Alex. I thought he, uh, you know, he does what he always does, comes in there and competes, tries to do his job the right way. Um, and he's just put his head down and try to get better. And, you know, the snaps he was in there yesterday, I thought he did the same thing. Hey Josh, just to follow up on, on Brandon Parker, what were your thoughts on the way he played? And do you think the move to the left side was a part of the problem last night? Um, you know, some of these, you know, a lot of guys have to play multiple positions. So, um, you know, that can't be part of the problem. So, you know, we have to be able to, uh, you know, a lot of guys played multiple spots last night, um, <clears throat> you know, because you have to have depth at the game somehow, some way. Um, there were a few things, obviously, that Brandon can do can do better. Uh, there were also some things where there was some things we were trying to uh, do offensively where we didn't execute them very well uh, that didn't have anything to do with Brandon. So uh, a lot of things go into uh, pass protection, as I've said before. If you want to be good in pass protection, you got to do a lot of things right. Uh, it's not just one man's responsibility. Um, certainly after our first game, we're not where we want to or need to be, and that's why we'll – work hard today on the film to correct that coach I uh I meant to ask you last night we only saw Nate Hobbs play in a couple of series but he played on the outside and looked very natural and he's done that before what did you think of what you saw from Hobbs on the outside last night yeah Nate's done a good job you know all spring all summer of a really competing very competitive guy um you know he's worked at multiple spots and uh so you know we we uh worked him outside last night and uh, you know, DP was inside when he was there. Uh, so, um, you know, like I said, just really trying to give every guy an opportunity to compete at some of those different roles uh, that they're practicing in. Um, you know, Nate didn't really give up much production last night, um, you know, and, and so I thought he, you know, I thought he played, did his job the right way. Hey, Josh, what would, obviously you've kind of said what the biggest takeaway for you was from, from that game last night. What's the biggest takeaway the players should take away from their performance and what they did on the field? I think there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of positives um, relative to our overall effort, the way we competed. Um, I thought the guys played hard from the very first play to the last play. And there was a lot of things that I thought um, showed up uh, in the film uh, that you that you do in smaller groups and smaller pods in practice and training camp, the one on one drills. I mean, when you watch the game over, you know, there's a lot of plays where there's four one on one pass rush drills going on at the same time. You know, and so when you go back to practice next Monday, you know, you say, hey, when we go to that one on one drill, I mean, it showed up, you know, 29 times last night you know, or the, the two on two pass rush drills or whatever the run drills are or the running and we call them running and tackling drills where we don't actually tackle, but it's where you're trying to maintain your leverage and the ball carriers are trying to cut off somebody. All those little things that you do in practice in smaller groups, they all showed up last night, you know, and I think that the players, when they see this today, when we get the chance to watch and coach the film today, it won't be hard to see where practice actually could make us better. You know, because a lot of the things that they're doing in practice and there's a lot of them making progress then showed up in the game. So um, just to, it's all it kind of always happens that way where you're doing a lot of this stuff. And then until you actually play a game and then you see it show up there, um, it's hard to sink in. But I think that will be that point will be made and they'll see that today clearly.